so it is the time that uh, uh, the the major country i mean to say pakistan turkey malaysia indonesia should form a international social media network or uh, satellite tv radio uh, internet uh, radio tv uh, to highlight the miseries real miseries of palestinian against the uh, confronting against the brutality of uh, israeli forces and political agenda israeli occupation forces and israeli settlers aggression against the palestinian people in occupied jerusalem and against the muslim holy sites mainly al aqsa mosque is continuing on daily basis amidst dead international silence how islamic countries and governments should act what kind of support should they provide for the palestinians to defend their country and get their freedom and independence to talk about that i have with me from islamabad dr mahmoud khan director general of the center for south asia and international studies welcome to our program dr mahmoud yeah thank you very much uh, uh, it is again very pleasing to talk with you about thank the given topic thank you dr mahmoud the israeli occupation aggression and the israeli settlers in addition to the israeli formal army against the palestinian people everywhere in palestine mainly in occupied jerusalem and we all watched the aggression against the palestinian muslim worshipers the crimes against the people there and all committed with international silence let's talk about the position of the islamic countries from your own perspective how do you see their position and how should it be yeah it's a very important question rather very burning issue uh, amongst the uh, muslim umma uh, uh, islamic world and in this regard uh, most recently uh, government of pakistan has uh, held uh, extraordinary uh, meeting of uh, uh, organization of islamic country uh, uh, foreign ministers uh, uh, meeting in islamabad which highly indicated that pakistan is all out to resolve the 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 so uh, still pending unending conflict between uh, palestine and israel and uh, government of pakistan and for especially the foreign ministry of pakistan has suggested that uh, it should be resolved through peace uh, dialogue diplomacy and the basis of this resolution should be and must be to state uh, uh, doctrine uh, to resolve the the pending issue of uh, palestine and israel as uh, you you rightly said why world is so silent why world is so uh, inactive uh, to uh, uh, by saying the uh, constant waves of uh, brutality is aggression and uh, discrimination dogma stigma uh, of israel politician general public and especially its armed forces uh it's been very painful it's been very very shocking uh, uh especially uh, in amongst the common people of pakistan and uh, you, you believe you you must believe in my words that uh, in every uh, juma prayer especially in um, the holy uh, month of ramadan people are were crying uh, to pray before god for the some kind of blessing some kind of comfort some kind of hope for the struggling people of palestine yes uh, uh, let us uh, talk uh, yes talk Victor, about yeah, let us talk about the uh, the general reaction of islamic country uh, towards palestine frankly speaking it is it is not up to the mark and we must uh, integrate our political consultations of our uh, our marketing uh, uh, efforts uh, through social media through innovative uh, means to highlight the every inch every act of uh, uh, israeli forces uh, uh, brutality against uh, innocent uh, weak faction of uh, 
Palestinian society, I mean to say children, elderly people, women, settlers who have been uh, living in uh, these areas of uh, ancient and modern Palestine for so many, not so many years, but so many centuries. So uh, uh, I must suggest, being the expert on GCC and MENA, that uh, the political leadership of Palestine should be more proactive to approach, uh, especially the Chinese uh, government, who has been uh, very proactive, very advocating the justice of uh, Palestine. Uh, the Palestine, Palestinian Lord leadership should also contact uh, Qatar, one of the very important key member of the GCC country, and same is the Kuwait and others, uh, uh, some kind of liberalized uh, society. Yes, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Mahmoud, uh, uh, yeah, you talked about the position of the Pakistani people and the Pakistani government, and we listened to many statements by the officials of the government of Pakistan, the prime minister condemning the Israeli aggression against the people in Jerusalem. And we also witnessed demonstrations by the masses, by the public in many Islamic countries around the world, including Pakistan, Bangladesh, Indonesia, Malaysia. Now, how can this public support be translated into political, official position to tell Israel that you can continue your aggression and your massacres against the Palestinians? It's time now to stop and to allow the Palestinians to exercise their rights to independence. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a very uh, million dollar question. And the uh, 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 government of uh, Palestine should, uh, uh, should come front to seek uh, blessing, to seek diplomatic support, to seek uh, moral support from the uh, different countries, especially the Muslim countries. So you are absolutely right to 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 highlight the dichotomy uh, between the the common people of Muslim country and the uh, political leadership. Thus, I personally believe that there should be some kind of uh, extraordinary um, uh, formation of uh, a uh, a Muslim country, especially especially focusing on. Palestine, in order to get convinced the Israel government that the, the brutality, aggression will achieve nothing but the further integration and isolation. Yeah, and uh, Dr. Mahmoud, we see the uh, Russian-Ukraine crisis and how the American, European and Western support for Ukraine in facing the Russian military operation this support is beyond expected, really. Do you think that the Muslim countries would learn from this experience and take this support as a model and provide all forms of support for the Palestinian people in their fight against the Israeli occupation and its aggression on the people, the land, and the holy sites? While we are speaking now, Israeli bulldozers are demolishing a three-story apartment in Jerusalem, the Silwan neighborhood, forcing tens of Palestinian citizens to be homeless without a roof over their heads. Yeah, that's true. And uh, uh, ongoing conflict uh, between is Russia and uh, Ukraine has set a very unique example of dissemination of of propaganda dissemination of political uh, uh, political outreach political statement of the united states of america european union and in which uh, social media has played a uh, tremendously rather it has outclassed the uh, official stance of uh, russia and russia has uh, learned a very uh, severe lesson uh, uh, from the wide spread of social media uh, uh, activation uh, against him. So it is the time that uh, uh, the, the major country, I mean to say Pakistan, Turkey, Malaysia, Indonesia, should form a international 
सोशल मीडिया नेटवर्क और सैटेलाइट टीवी रेडियो इंटरनेट रेडियो टीवी टू हाईलाइट दी मिसरीज रियल मिसरीज ऑफ पैलेस्टीनियन अगेंस्ट दी कंफर्टिंग अगेंस्ट दी ब्रुटैलिटी ऑफ इसराइली फोर्सेस एंड पॉलिटिकल एजेंडा it is the high time that uh, dichot team uh, between the people muslim country common people and political leadership should be club together uh, in order to achieve the ultimate uh, destination the ultimation ultimate uh, goal is to lip, to to liberate palestine to give hope to give some kind of comfort some kind of uh, 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 is uh, to the suffering uh, people of uh, palestine so the, it also show that ongoing uh, uh, conflict between russia and ukraine has exposed the inbuilt uh, uh, hatred and uh, 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 unpleasant uh, attitude of uh, european union against uh, the other uh, nation and if it has been if it was the uh, case of palestine uh, the whole european union was silent the whole muslim country was not so active that shows the dichotomy uh, prevailing prevalent uh, in the international media so we must work together in order to give the real picture of the suffering of, of uh, palestinian people through to continuous constant circulation of uh, think of uh, palestinian people and uh, and to activate our back to diplomacy political connectivity uh, lobbyist uh, to get connected to the uh, power, power corridor of uh, international established i mean to say america european union france germany china uh, to 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 show the degree grief pains sorrows of the suffering of uh, palestine and by by all these uh, creative marketing strategy especially in terms of media circulation in terms of publication research documentary social media i i personally think that uh, uh, the cause of palestinian uh, would be in a, in a comfortable zone in in the yes uh, dr mahmoud khan director general of the center for south asia and international studies it has been a great pleasure having you on our program thank you very much thank you thank you very much you are most welcome thank you and uh, ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and from you samanazal wish you in a nice time